Ages ago, I came across the story of Rosie, the abandoned shark. Now, this video's content is probably a little different than what you're used to on my channel, but Rosie's story fascinated me so much, I just had to share it, even if it is old news by now. I love watching urban exploration videos. I find something so beautifully eerie about abandoned places, and I'd love to go to some in the future. But I don't think anyone will find a more bizarre discovery than an abandoned, preserved, two-ton great white shark. I first saw images of her circulating online, and I had to look into it. I watched Luke McPherson's video where he explored the abandoned Wonderland Wildlife Park in Australia. Oh, really, what a weird looking tank. It smells really drank in here, doesn't it? Oh, oh this is a weird spot. What's in that? It's like gravel and stuff. Can you guys see the gravel? Oh, what the hell? Can you guys see that? I'm going to turn my light off. I hope you guys are able to see that. That is creepy as. This wildlife park was shut down in 2012 because the owners did not have any licenses to keep or display the animals. The animals were given to the RSPCA and other animal rescue charities, but Rosie was left behind. Because who cares about a dead shark, right? There were a number of attempts to sell Rosie, but no one seemed to want her. That, and it was nearly impossible to move her. Any attempts of moving the huge tank that she was held in caused it to buckle, and it was just too risky. So where did Rosie the shark come from, and why was she preserved? I've heard two stories surrounding her beginnings, so I'll tell both of them. Back in 1998, Rosie was being a nuisance and eating all the tuna, so it was decided she was to be killed. The other story is that she was found dead in a tuna net. Oh, and a third where she was found in the tuna net and then shot. Whatever the real version, an artist saw Rosie as a beautiful creature and decided to preserve her. She was placed in the tank via the roof, then the tank was sealed to keep all the toxic preservation chemicals inside, hence why it was so hard to move her and her tank. She would have probably stayed in her preserved condition if it wasn't for someone breaching the tank, for whatever reason, the lid was opened, allowing all the toxic chemicals out, and after so many years, Rosie began to decompose after the mixture of preservation fluid began to evaporate. After the videos were seen by thousands, many people tracked the shark down and, of course, decided to vandalise her even more, throwing things into the tank and even trying to smash the glass by the looks of it. People did this even with the threat of her toxic chemicals near them. Why? This is why we can't have nice things. Leave Rosie alone! So many people came together and tried to get Rosie's stories noticed by those who could do something. They even started a GoFundMe page for her. As far as I know, she is the only preserved great white shark in the world, and we can't keep great white sharks in captivity, so Rosie would be the only chance for many to see a shark this close. And their persistence paid off. Rosie the shark is now located in Crystal World, where her preservation and restoration work is slowly underway. They even sell Rosie the shark merch. Although slow and expensive, they hope to one day restore Rosie to the best they can. <laughs>